Have you commuted through the Festac Link Bridge in Lagos? Well, the bridge has caused untold hardship and difficulty to vehicle owners and commuters over the years in their area. Our correspondent Ademola Lawrence takes a look at the issues surrounding the Festag Link Bridge in the last one year, the changes and the operation of a mini port beside the bridge. Festag Link Bridge is one of the major routes in Festag Town. In the last four months, there have been insinuations that the bridge is having some cracks and that trucks pack on it. To confirm this story, TVC News decided to visit Festac Town to ascertain the true story. On our first visit, we noticed no truck parked on the bridge. Rather, cars moved freely in and out of Festac without inhibition. While talking to the resident of the area, I noticed a freight company has a barge. I approached them to assess how close the facility is to the bridge. I also used the opportunity to see if indeed there were cracks underneath the bridge which some people had laid their fear for residents but noticed none. But to confirm how close this barge operation is to the bridge, we took a boat ride to Kirikiri and Apapa Bridge to see the distance between the barge and the bridge and also see if trucks were parked on those bridges and indeed it was close and trucks on the bridges of Apapa and Kirikiri. But why are people complaining about the Festac Link Bridge? One of the managers of the freight company explains that all the necessary papers needed to operate the bridge was legal. When I had the issue of um, people saying it's an illegal operation, you are not licensed, I think there are stakeholders who, who, who are in charge of giving licenses to jetties, which I think and I know that we are licensed by the authority who issues badge operation license. When we got here, I, would, I could even share pictures with you of what it looks like before. So from the onset, it's a designated jet. So we only came and, uh, to modernize it and see how it can suit um, jetty operation on containers. She also spoke on how the badge operations has been able to ease over 120 trucks of the Apapa Road and its importance to the area. Badging at this time is a solution to the edict of Apapa um, Port Access Road because for those badges, as small as they are, they are mini vessels. As small as they are, they can take about 30 to 60 containers per move. And if you have one badge taking 30, 30 boxes by 40 feet off from the port, it means you have taken 30 trucks off a papa port access road. This would also keep the roads, give them a longer lifespan, right? Because you have less truck accessing the ports. So if one badge leaves the port, it has taken 30 trucks off the Apapa Expressway, and all we are looking at is decongesting the port. Outside decongesting the port, this will also have effect on the economy at large. To confirm how they got a license to operate in that area, I went to Amu Ward of the local government to see the chairman, but he was said to be indisposed. Speaking to his chief press secretary, he confirmed all the necessary papers the company needed to operate at Geneu and are from Customs, NPA, National Inland Waterway, and the Lagos State Government. Some of the residents said the company has provided job for over 100 community members. For, 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 for over a year now, um, with this operation going on here, it has employed a lot of the youth in the mode of thing through the help of the local government chairman. You understand, the badge operation here, and, it's, and first and foremost, the badge operation itself, it's helped in reducing, reducing the traffic. And we've been trying to manage the traffic situation here. There has not been traffic congestion since the, um, the badge operation started. He said no trucks park on the bridge. 20 years I've been living around this place. Nobody has come here to lay claims. But immediately K-Stone came here to develop this place, to turn it into a terminal for badging. 
different people start coming from different places, petitioning that this place is illegal, that uh, there has been traffic dreadlock every now and then. But you can see there has never been a case of traffic around here. Never been a day the residents or anybody has come to complain about traffic because the, tra the traffic, the traffic part is always ease. It, it goes with ease. There's never been a situation where where there's, where there's, where there's gridlock on the road. There's never been a situation like that. It is always free flow. When the truck comes in, you see it. For Festac and its environs, which is mostly surrounded by water, many believe important that jetty operations are encouraged as another means of transportation to ease traffic on the road. Ademola Lawrence, TVC News, Lagos.